Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. He's still recovering from his hangover from New Year's Eve. Um, so lots of people have written and said, why don't you just put your phone inside the microwave oven like certain whistleblowers did? And I keep saying, because uh, that doesn't work. You should make a stylish smartphone Faraday box. So I decided to actually make a video to show that it doesn't work. So here we have a modern smartphone and here we have a modern dumb phone. So first we are going to call from the smartphone. And then call back and it works. Now that that works, let's put the dumb phone inside the microwave oven. Ah, but first, just so you know, the oven, the microwave oven is grounded. So we take the smartphone and we put it inside the microwave oven and we close the door and we wait a few seconds. And if everyone is right, I should not be able to call it. But as you will notice, you can see the notification popped up and says, I'm calling and it's ringing. So that didn't work, did it? So now we take our dumb phone, put it inside, close the door, call with smartphone. We'll, we'll give it a few seconds. Uh, it's losing the signal. Oh, it's very difficult. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Da, da, da. Let's give her a ring. and it doesn't work. <clears throat> Fascinating, it did not ring. Now if I open the door and wake it up, it has one bar and it has found the edge network. So this is actually kind of interesting because it depends on the phone. Now, as you saw, the dumb phone, which is only 3G, I put him in here, it blocked it. The smartphone, which is 4G, I put it in here, called with this guy, it rang anyway. It depends on the phone. It depends on how far away the cellular tower that you're connected to is from where you are. It depends on what your house is made out of. If you have poor reception inside your house, like say you have two foot thick stone walls uh, and fewer windows and the tower is at just the right location, you're gonna have very weak signal strength. Um, as I noted at the beginning, this guy had four out of five bars of signal strength. This one had most of the time four, sometimes three. So he obviously has poorer reception than the smartphone does. Um, but of course, most people have smartphones. So if you toss your smartphone inside the microwave oven, chances are it's going to ring anyway. But it depends on various factors. It's not a foolproof way. There is, however, one way that you can block all signals going into even a smartphone, and that is with your stylish smartphone Faraday box Mark II. You can watch my video about this guy, which is up here, there, somewhere. Uh, but this is my revised edition with the double layer. So let's try now calling the smartphone in here. We will take the phone and we'll put it inside the magical bag. Oh, he's a little bit tight. Put him inside the magical bag. Put the magical bag inside the magical box. Close the lid and put it right here next to Cletus and then try and give it a call. 
So it went to voicemail because there's no signal. So there you go. There's the demonstration. Yes, sometimes a microwave oven will work and depending on the phone and depending on the antennas that are in the phone and depending on whether it's 3G or 4G, sometimes a microwave oven will work. But when you see like say certain whistleblowers who say, oh yeah, just throw your phone in a microwave oven and it's super protected. No, it's not. Because as I mentioned in previous videos, microwave ovens are designed to shield these little holes and, and, and the inside is designed to shield precisely 2.45 gigahertz. And as we all know, 3G and 4G networks are 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9 gigahertz. It's a different frequency. Um, and uh, 5G will be even, even crazier frequencies. So if you want to be absolutely certain that it works, then make one of these. Uh, some people also said like, oh, well, just, just put it in a, a, a tinfoil chip bag, like, you know, potato chips, crisps. Um, that's effectively this right here. This is a plastic bag lined with, with uh, conductive copper tape. This is the equivalent of a bag of potato chips. That may actually work depending on the phone you have and where you are and blah, blah, blah. But the reason that I made this version two was because this is actually a double layer. This is like your potato chip bag here, and this is your second layer with a proper seal. And the double layer makes sure that absolutely nothing gets through. So in certain instances, certain things may work, but if you want something that is totally reliable, just ask Cletus what you should do. That's that's it. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.